You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. Drop that! Yeah, yeah. Once again, it's on. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the HHG versus the industry, volume 3. Hip hip hop gamer. Let's get it. Now, check this out, man. Real talk. It's a lot of stuff going on. So, let me let you into my world real quick, alright? Now, I went to PAX West, right? It's the first time ever in Seattle, you know what I'm saying? I met some great, great people. And some people that I met is actually behind, you know, responding to entertainment and stuff like that. Great guys. Love them to death. Great guys, right? Now, we all know how that situation came about with the whole Infinity Ward and, and leaving Activision. Now, Respawn is created. They with EA. It's about to go down. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, it's about to go down. Now, the title of this joint is what? Death of Duty. The Respawn response we all want to see. And all I'm here to tell you is that we are going to see. We're going to see something special from Respawn. That's going to make a lot of people think that, like, yo, these guys is, whoa, like, they on some other stuff. Not just because they're so talented, but because they got a, another demeanor and another purpose to prove why they so great. You feel me? And you know how it is. Not just guys, but just people in general. When you when you great at something, that's one thing. But when you got something to prove, that greatness just go whoop, to another level. And we about to witness that. Now, I don't got no details. I can't tell y'all anything or whatever. But all I can tell y'all is that when I got back from Seattle, and, you know, when I got back to New York, there's some more people and some more things that was pretty interesting that I was able to dig upon. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we gonna go down the line in terms of some opportunities or things that we may or may not see in the future. But I will say this. Respawn Entertainment, yeah, they, they, um, they're very, very talented. So I'm gonna just leave it at that, alright? So now, let's get into it. First of all, the reason why I titled this Death of Duty don't take it literally, like death of duty. Call of Duty ain't going nowhere. It's not the death of it. But what I mean by that, in terms of like a metaphor, is that we're getting kind of, kind of tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. If you if you understand where I'm coming from, so I give you an example. A lot of people are starting to complain, like not starting, but a lot of people was complaining about Madden, right? Why? Because the little enhancements that they do year after year, it's like, yeah, the whole year, this is what you did. It's good. It's good. But you always want more. And in a year's time, and you see what they did, a lot of the stuff is the same. You know, whether it's animations or whatever, they may add new stuff on top of old stuff. But there's so much old stuff that it's hard to really appreciate the new stuff. So, a lot of times you just want something completely brand new so you can really feel like this is something that you never played or seen before. You know what I mean? But Madden don't got no competition. You see what I'm saying? Madden don't got no competition at all. So they in the league by itself. That's one. Two, if you look at a game like SmackDown versus Raw, they really don't got there's really no other competition in the wrestling genre that's commercially successful. You see what I'm saying? There has been competition since WW WCW and NWO Revenge back in the day on Nintendo 64. Games like that. Great wrestling games, you know I might add. But look at SmackDown. A lot of the animations is the same, introductions is the same, graphics is roughly the same. There's nothing really too different. But why do they care? There's no competition. You know? Now, if you look at Call of Duty, they was they was in competition mainly with themselves. The reason why I say that is because when it comes to war games, Medal of Honor was gone for a while. It just came back and it's great. Battlefield Bad Company, that that's great too. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of the popularity level, standing online, 5.6 million sold in one day. The only other games that's doing things like that is games like Halo and Grand of Auto. You know what I'm saying? Even Metal Gear. But those does those games really compare? Halo would be the only one because that's the first person. But 
That's sci-fi. This is war. Feel me? War. You know what I'm saying? So here's the deal, right? The reason why I say death of duty is because we don't want no more Call of Duties where the name itself is selling more than the actual game. You feel me? Now, we're going to go down the list so you can understand what I'm talking about. No more Guitar Hero. You know how Guitar Hero just rehash stuff. That's what I was talking about. So now let's move on. Call of Duty being used for sales instead of revolutionizing the FPS genre. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Black Ops is a great game. I love the fact that you can run and dive and stuff like that. That's incredible. You know, that that's amazing. You know, but what if we got a chance to see a little bit more deeper detail gameplay? I mean, if you think about it, Black Ops had a gr great story. That's the new thing about it. And the multiplayer modes is incredible. You can play them joints for days and stuff like that. But from a gameplay standpoint, it's still the same. I can still stab you in the throat. Like, you know, like, even if you shoot me three times in the face. Like, I can still do these crazy kills. It's, it's still broken in terms of the cheaters. The same problems that's been there four years is still there you know what I'm saying so even though you got the run and dive out of all this time you add that one little thing for gameplay but everything else is roughly the same as Modern Warfare 2 and any other Call of Duty and that's what I mean by revolutionary as opposed to the brand name selling a product it's not cool you know what I'm saying we want more so in terms of wanting more, let me give you an understanding on what I mean by more and what, I, what I'm talking about when it comes to respawning or responding. You feel me? Check this out. Everybody know that game Mirror's Edge, correct? Okay. Mirror's Edge, it was so deep and detailed, but gameplay-wise, they didn't pull it off correctly because it wasn't fun to play. But you could fight, you could duck, you could do all types of real stuff from a first-person standpoint, right? Now, you tell me, have you ever seen a war game or a game in general that got a deep first-person fighting mechanic along with a deep first-person shooting mechanic all in one? The only game you're probably going to think about that's coming is Brink. You know what I'm saying? But even Brink, I don't think is ready for what may come. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So check this out. If you think about Mirror's Edge, how you can run up the walls and do all this other stuff and everything like that, and then you got the great FPS shooting to go along with it, Respawn is known for this. You know what I'm saying? They're incredible. And that's one element that may be unveiled. That's one. Two. A brand new engine. When I mean a brand new engine, a brand new engine that could rival Crytek and even rival Rage in terms of overall performance. You know what I mean? And, and, and with the combination of that Mirror's Edge type of fight, great first person shooting action, cover systems, all types, the, I mean the works, all rolled into one in a brand new way that we never seen before. That's the best way to respond when you want to respond. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you, this is crazy. You know? So, the next thing I want to say is this. The story. The story needs to be big and deep like an RPG, but in war. Everything that I'm saying now... Let me just keep it 100 with you. Let me keep it real with you. Everything that I'm saying right now, all the bullet points, if the, all those things was in one game, you know what I'm saying, would you look at Call of Duty as Death of Duty as well? Would Call of Duty really need to step their game up, not just with the brand name, but with the overall gameplay to show us something that we really truly never seen or experienced before? Competition makes for better games, and Respawn Entertainment is on a mission, let alone EA is on a mission, because not only did EA recruit one of the best talents out there, they also in the runnings to get that number one spot back in terms of publishing. Now, real talk, from a sales data, Activision got it, but in terms of just games and library, 
and quality, I gotta go with EA. That's just the way I feel about it. But overall, they are both great companies. They are the giants in our industry. And truthfully, from a publisher standpoint, Activision and EA are exactly like Microsoft and Sony. You feel me? But right now, considering that EA got respawned, that's like saying Sony like just got the developers of Halo, which you know they do. Bungie. They making games with PS3. So when you look at Sony and Microsoft and things is going on right now, and then you look at EA and Activision, there's a lot of similarities just in different positions. I said all this to say is that respawn, they about to get ready. And the surprise that they they are gonna have and show most likely next year, to my knowledge, from what I'm hearing behind the scenes, is gonna literally blow you away. And even though that title right now, Death of Duty, is just something that's that I put together as a metaphor. If if Treyarch can use their entire team to create Black Ops. And that's the way it came out, which is still great. But when the competition get involved, the whole team got to come together and do like 20 times better than that. According to what Respawn is going to respawn with. So stay tuned to what happens next year. 2011 is not far away. But I had to put this out there because competition makes for better games. Always. And, and just because at times companies may feel like they're in a league of their own as if they can't be stopped stop thinking like you can't be stopped because you never know what's going to come next you feel me so one love and god bless that was a that right there is crazy i'm excited you guys get excited and i want to leave you guys with this if there's anything you want to see respawn do or bring to the industry that that you never seen before not just in the first person shooter, but in games general. Whatever you want, send them to me. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think, alright? One love, God bless, is your boy. Hip Hip Hop Gamer. It's fire right now, man. Always bring that heat. Catch me on PlayStation Home, too. Peace.